What's up YouTube? This is Dave's Hat Enough 187. This is a video to do with Ubisoft. My thoughts and opinion. And something else I never talked about in a video. I might have done it on the podcast, but this is pretty much something that I've been thinking about lately I want to mention. And it has to do with Operation Platinum. And another video from Dave. Alright, um, before I get into those two discussions, I want to give some shout outs. Uh, I want to shout out two great channels, fantastic channels, some of the best channels in this YouTube gaming community uh, right now, hands down. Um, first person I want to shout out is Wiggy Gaming. Um, great dude. He has a podcast like mine. It's fantastic. It's probably better than my podcast. He has some great uh, guests. Um, I really enjoy watching his podcast. Uh, he does some great videos. He's a multi-console owner. I believe he's got all the consoles. He's got the Xbox One, PS4, and Wii U. I'm just not sure. If, I think, yep, he has a Wii U, I'm pretty sure. But I know for sure he has a PS4 and Xbox One. But he has a great channel. I really enjoy watching it. You know, can't, you know it's some of the best shit on YouTube, you know, in this YouTube gaming community. Um, you know, I've... I watch a lot of channels, and there's a lot of great people, but I'd say these people stand out that I'm talking about right here. Another person I game with on uh, PS4, always in party chats at nighttime, uh, play uh, play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And just an overall cool dude. Um, he's pretty much the face of Xbox One here in this gaming community. Um, he talks to Bill and Phil a lot, you know, from Microsoft. <laughs> Um, one Stop for Gamers, hands down, awesome channel. Um, I, he's a multi-console owner, he owns, he's the face of fucking Xbox One, and, uh, he has a PS4, and he's, you know, he supports PlayStation 4, and he does, uh, videos for both, and I believe he's got a Wii U too, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, two great channels, links will be in the description, hands down, some of the best shit on YouTube, hands down. All right. Pretty much, let's talk about, I'd say let's talk about Ubisoft first. You know, Ubisoft's getting a lot of attacks lately. A lot. You know, and they deserve it. They're putting out games that are fucking broken, like Assassin's Creed Unity, supposedly. I didn't play it. I've asked some people, you know, what, what you know, people actually picked up the game. Some people say it's fine, some people say it's a little buggy, and then some people say it's fucking broken. You know, it's unplayable. And I notice that word goes around a lot in this community. Unplayable. <laughs> I played some games supposedly that are unplayable, and one of them is my favorite uh, this year is The Evil Within, and that game is not by far unplayable. It's probably one of the best games that I've played this generation, hands down, and it's fucking playable. So I don't. It's like a new word comes around. It's not like it's a new word, but people start saying it, and then they're like, "Oh, that shit's unplayable, unplayable, unplay." And that's all you start hearing, like dude bros. That's all you start hearing, you know. Uh, we tards. That's still funny, you know. You can't. That that's some of the best shit you can, you know. And it just it keeps going and going and going, you know. But people like to get in these new words, and then they go around saying, "Oh, it's it's unplayable, unplayable." Did you ever play the fucking game? You know. Just because what you're reading in forums and seeing on, uh, you know, IGN's videos and in their comment section, people say it sucks or IGN says it sucks. You know, uh, I've seen recently GameSpot, you know, pretty much say the Master Chief Collections, you know, they gave it a low score and said you have to wait forever in lobbies. But then you watch IGN's review and man, it's like a fucking different game. And I see that with a lot of YouTube channels too. I was watching one dude... Uh, his video before the one he made. Oh, Master Chief Collection's fantastic. Oh, best thing on Xbox One. You know, something along those lines. That's what I was getting from the video. Next video, I'm trading in my Xbox One and I'm giving it to my little brother. You know, he's he, or he, no, he's selling his Xbox One off to his little brother. I'm, I'm, he's, he can have it. Uh, I'm going to, I'm sure this one's another one that says, I'm going to PC, like they always say. I just can't remember if that was one of them that said it. Yeah, everybody's going to PC. PC is just so much better. I don't understand that either. But pretty much, you know, Ubisoft. Ubisoft has pretty much gave us some of the best games we've ever played in our fucking life. And, um, you know, see, a lot of people got to understand without Ubisoft, you wouldn't have games like Far Cry. 
you wouldn't have Splinter Cell. You wouldn't have these new games like Evolve, which I hear mixed things about. You wouldn't have no Rainbow Sixes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't have Prince of Persia. These are fucking fantastic games. Ubisoft is one of the, the last big AAA developers that, you know, is around. THQ's gone. Acclaim's gone. You know, great companies are gone. You just got EA, Bethesda, Ubisoft, and a few others. If they're gone, what the fuck? You know, what are you just going to depend on, you know, Microsoft to give you fucking exclusives? <laughs> That's a fucking joke. They're not going to give you exclusives. They have to buy their exclusives. Sony's exclusives can be a hit or miss. They really can. One thing I'll say about Nintendo, they usually, if... You know, you gotta be into Nintendo exclusives and Nintendo games, but if you are, you're getting a game, you know, your money's worth. You are. hands. I can't lie about that. Hands down, you're getting your fucking money's worth. Sony has, like, a little bit over half good exclusives, I would say. A little bit more than half. But the rest, eh. Killzone, eh. Resistance Fall Man, eh. <laughs> you know, I, I can name a bunch of names I don't, a bunch of games I don't like. To do with Sony, but then they have the great ones like Uncharted, The Last of Us, um, Beyond Two Souls. I thought was good from what I played. You know, a lot of people didn't like that game. We got a uh, Crash Bandicoot, some of the old ones, Twisted Metal. You know, these are some great fucking games that I loved over the years. So you can never take that away from Sony. Um, but without Ubisoft, we wouldn't have like. A lot of these AAA games, you know, we wouldn't have the new Far Cry. We wouldn't have uh, Evolve coming, you know. Uh, what else did Ubisoft, you know, Watch Dogs was a bomb, but some people liked it. It still was a AAA game, you know. Still was something. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, they're working on a lot of games at once, you know. They have different teams, but, you know, it's not like just because one team fucks up one game doesn't mean they're all fuck-ups, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that. And a lot of people need to realize that. I'm just saying, without Ubisoft, we wouldn't have m many AAA games. They do a lot of it, you know. You can bash them all you want, but they do a lot of good shit. Splinter Cell is one of the best franchises I've ever played. Hands down. Far Cry, that's a great fa uh, franchise too. I played, uh, didn't play the first one, I played the second and third one. Loved it, you know. Um... Just a lot of a lot of great games Ubisoft has done over the years. I, I don't think people really take that into into consideration. Um, you know, when they just go on about bashing, you know, companies or consoles just because hey, they made a mistake. You know, it is a new console generation. They do have to learn to develop for these fucking consoles. You know, it's not. E it's just like last generation. You know, the PS3. These developers couldn't fucking develop on it. Really, they they could, but they had to learn it. And by the end of the generation, they were making some fantastic games like The Last of Us. Look at the graphics on that for the PS3. You know, um, but just saying, like people are so quick to attack. Uh, you know, some company that's been around forever. How could you attack Ubisoft like that? Yeah, they're fucking up, but that's Ubisoft. Do you want them to disappear like THQ? Do you want a company to disappear like Acclaim did? I mean, is that what you guys want? Do you guys really want uh, these companies just to go off into the fucking sunset? I mean, really think about it for a second. Yeah, they made some, you know, mistakes, but damn... I mean, you got you even got South Park and the Stick of Truth this year from Ubisoft. Look at the good things you got from it, you know? Just saying. They didn't make all bombs. They did, uh, I believe they did Raymond Legends, you know? They did the Driver series. I mean, come on. Prince of Persia was a fucking great series. I mean, Assassin's Creed's a hit or miss, but, you know, it's just their burning that fucking franchise out. And then now they got the new one, which has a lot of problems, supposedly. And then I hear from some people, it's very small problems that don't even really take away from the fun of the game. Just saying. Um, pretty much, though, yeah. Uh, Ubisoft this year, you know, they messed up with Watch Dogs. They showed us a different game from what we, you know, saw at E3. I don't remember what fucking year, a couple of years back. 
And then the one we got was totally different from what we've seen. And then the whole thing with the developers, or the whole thing with the PC, you could, you know, mod everything or whatever the fuck you gotta do, and you can actually get the one from E3 that they showed. And, uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of the uh, Wii U version of uh, Watch Dogs, and it don't look much different than the PS4 version, you know. It doesn't. It still looks like, a, you know, a great game, you know, if you're into that. I didn't like some things like you couldn't shoot out of the car, like when you're driving. Just some basic shit, you know, that bothered me. It was enough for me not to want to play the game. Not saying I'm not going to go pick it up. I did buy the season pass for the PS4, and I probably will pick it up when it's 20 bucks just to get my money's worth. You know what I'm saying? I just want to play the season pass. You know, it does look good, the bad blood, but I'm going to pick it up when it's like 20 or 30 bucks again. But, you know, Ubisoft made some mistakes this year. Watch Dogs was one of them. Assassin's Creed Unity is supposedly one of them. Some people say it's a great game. You know, there isn't a mistake, so I don't know. You know, and then they did this whole parody thing. You know, they came out. They should have shut their fucking mouths and not even fucking say this shit. Why are they getting on these fucking, you know, sites or, you know, in, 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 in these, like, meetings or whatever, wherever these fucking people get this information and telling these people? Just fucking, back in the day, we didn't talk about, you know, Oh, well, this game's going to run at this, or that game's going to run at this. Developers didn't come out and tell you. You saw a fucking commercial on TV, and you're like, oh, I want that game. And you went to fucking Toys R Us, or Electronic Boutique, or whatever we had back in the day. You know, uh, what was the old one? Uh, what was the old game store? Uh, EB Games? E I think so. EB... EB Games. It was one of, one of them that went out. I can't remember. Uh, it was an old toy store. But they used to sell games. And then um, where I'm from in Florida, they had a place called Rhino Games. So it was around for a little bit. Um, you know, but, you know, you always had some good commercials to look at. And you were like, you know, that was it. You, had, you were waiting. Oh, and the gaming magazines. That's where you got, you know, most of your information. But now uh, we look at all our information on fucking uh YouTube or uh, these websites, you know, it's, they kind of took the fun out of everything. I just like going to the magazine rack and Walmart and places like that and looking at gaming information. And we still get Game Informer, but it's not. The, by the time I get Game Informer, I already saw the fucking news. I already know what that book's going to tell me. I already seen it in fucking 10 videos on YouTube, you know. But the point is, Ubisoft is a good company, and you wouldn't want to see them disappear, I hope. You know, I, from what I've seen on YouTube, everybody wants them fucking gone, a lot of people. Then you got your smart people that don't, that I see. Just saying. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Ubisoft. Pretty much, man, it's a great fucking company. I don't know why people can't understand they made some mistakes this year. You know, a lot of people are thinking they're the new EA. You know, I don't even think EA's that bad. They've made mistakes, but, you know, they make games, they try new things, and some things work, some things don't. Putting out a broken game, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm, I'm all for that. But, you know, they do. They can send updates out and they can patch this shit. That's the good thing about now this generation. It's good. It's a good thing on... It's good and bad at the same time. It's good because they can fix a game, you know. You know, and maybe they can get a game out sooner. They're like, oh, this ain't much of a problem. We can fix this in time, but they can get the game out sooner for you guys to play, you know. But there is a bad thing, too. They can release broken games and just never, you know, maybe never patch them. Just maybe patch it later on. You know, who knows? That's just how this generation is. It's shit you got to put up with. But if you're smart, you know, you would look at a game, uh, look up on it, you know, check out everything before you buy it. Don't rush out and buy it day one. Don't pre-order it and don't do any of that shit and you should be all right. You, you know, look what's going on with the game before you buy it. You know, to be safe, I would wait a month before getting something nowadays. It's just it's just to be real. And I'm not trying to make this a long video, but these two, I want, I want to talk about these two things. It's probably going to run long. Uh, pretty much now I want to talk about Operation Platinum. And the reason I put these two in the same video... All right, you got all these people with Bayonetta 2 and Operation Platinum. They're like, oh, we'll buy Bayonetta 2 and, you know, that's going to be... Uh, you know, I'll prove to developers that we want mature games. Why not prove to Ubisoft 
that you want their games and buy fucking Watch Dogs. The one last supporter on the Wii U that was still supporting the Wii U. Why not show them? Hey, we bought Watch Dogs. We want mature games, and we still want you as a developer on our consoles. Because you gotta really look at shit. EA and all them, they're nowhere to be around the Wii U. At least fucking Ubisoft was there, you know. Maybe you can turn things around with Ubisoft and maybe next time see, like, Far Cry 5 on the fucking Wii U. Or uh, maybe have Assassin's Creed's again if you like that shit. Um, or maybe Watch Dogs 2. Or maybe the next Prince of Persia on the Wii U. Or maybe Rainbow Six The Siege, you know. I don't understand why people are going for Bayonetta 2. Like, I don't understand it. Why not Watch Dogs? Yes, I know... They waited a long time to release it, but that would prove something to the, you know, like, you know, you gotta really think. Platinum Games is cool with Nintendo. They're pretty much, you know, in Nintendo's fucking pocket. You know what I'm saying? Ubisoft and EA and all them, they're not. <laughs> Ubisoft was the last one to pull out, but stayed there the longest to support it, besides, like, Platinum Games. Um, but if they, sh you know, people showed Ubisoft, hey, we still want your games, Maybe the other developers might catch on too, like EA and Bethesda, but you never hear of really Bethesda ever talking about anything to do with the Wii U that I heard. But it gives them an idea to say, hey, you know, we do want to put games on the Wii U. Hey, they liked Watch Dogs. Other people on the other consoles, you know, uh, didn't like it, but the Wii U people like it, you know. It is what it is. They gave, And they gave you two, two things of DLC. They didn't give you it all. They didn't give you the bad blood yet, but they might be waiting to see if people actually buy it, and then they might throw that out there. And who knows, you might turn things around for Ubisoft. I would go after Ubisoft and Watch Dogs before I would go after Bayonetta 2. Not saying don't buy Bayonetta 2, but I don't know why they didn't start an Operation Platinum with Watch Dogs, because that's the game, that's the last mature game from Ubisoft, and that was the last fucking developer that was real big, third-party-wise, supporting the fucking Wii U outside of Platinum Games. Just saying. But yeah, that's my video. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. I didn't mean to make it run this long. Um, might have some more videos today. Uh, if not, for sure this weekend I'll have the podcast. Uh, anybody that wants to join, leave your comments in the comment section. Just uh, hit me up. Tell me we're going to end up doing it probably. Shit, I might do a podcast tonight if that's cool. If everybody wants one tonight, I'll do it tonight at around 7. If anybody can join... Hit me up in the comment section, and we'll go live, 7 o'clock. Dave's had enough show. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Till next time.